Speaker of the House of Representatives, Marissa Dalrymple Filbert, has confirmed that Westmoreland Central Member of Parliament, George Wright, is on a leave of absence from Parliament. Speaking in the lower house on Tuesday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness also addressed the matter. The move follows reports of a violent altercation between Mr. Wright and a woman. Presenting a joint statement from women in Parliament on violence against women on Tuesday, Dalrymple Philibert said the group denounces domestic violence in all forms, regardless of who the perpetrators are. As members of the highest legislative body in this land, we have always committed to ensure that the rights of every individual in Jamaica are protected. We also continue to conduct the business of our country respectful of the laws that govern us. As such, we seek to guarantee life, well-being, and the happiness of each and every individual. In relation to violence, and in particular, gender-based violence, this must at all times be denounced as a threat to life, a threat to the well-being and the happiness of our people. The group says they support the national conversation and actions to deal with the reality of gender-based violence. For his part, Prime Minister Andrew Olness says he is aware of the public outcry, but his office is bound to due process. And in all instances where I've been called upon, that's how I've acted, gone through a process to establish natural justice, what is fair, what is right, what is legal, and then we have acted. I have never used process as an excuse for action, however much. And there is, within this debate, a need for our public, in as much as we are outraged, and in as much as we must express condemnation, and in as much the protests and demonstrations that we are seeing a legitimate part of our democracy in expressing our anger and outrage, at the same time, we cannot escape. The leader of the opposition is also an officer of the court. So he more than most would understand and appreciate process and procedure. Mr. Olness says gender-based violence has plagued the society for far too long. Studies show that violence is greatest in societies where the use of violence in any situation is socially acceptable and treated as a norm. Therefore, in speaking out against violence, we can create a new culture that is intolerant of all forms of violence in our homes, in our institutions, in our workplaces, in our communities, in our music, in our schools, and most certainly in our parliament. He says action will be taken and he is encouraging others to get involved in programs already underway. We have been working to bring an end to gender-based violence through legislative policy and programmatic actions that protect victims of violence and bring perpetrators to justice. We are working towards building a culture in which there is no gender-based violence. In December 2017, we launched a 10-year national strategic action plan to eliminate gender-based violence. And in 2018, we launched the first public education campaign titled No Excuse for Abuse. Madam Speaker, we can't be investing this level of time effort, legislative and policy, for it not to have the effect because the people who we are targeting the message to can point on us and say, but you're not leading by example. 
Melvin Pennant, PBCJ News.